Hello everyone, I thought I would uh, showcase my uh, man cave system here that uh, I use for uh, daily listening basically and critical listening. Uh, I have a couple of other systems. Of course, I have the uh, Dynaco system that I rebuilt with an Akamichi uh, 700 Tri Tracer and a Thorns turntable over there that I uh, upgraded and modified. And But my main system here is uh, centered on uh, a couple of quad units here. I've got my quad 44 version 3. Uh, that's the latest, late model, uh, latest model of the uh, quad 44 iteration. Uh, basically completely upgraded by myself with uh, Dada Electronics kits. And uh, same with the quad 303 uh, amplifier of the 405 two upstairs, but uh, I actually like the 303, uh, the sound of the 303 much better than the 405 two. Uh, both of those actually, the 303 and the 405 have Dada kits in them as well. And uh, I'd, uh, these were kind of rescue units that I found in a barn and bought it off of a fellow for uh, a reasonable price and uh, unfortunately the cases on them were shot so uh, rather than just repaint them the, the standard olive drab or the gray uh, version I decided to uh, put a paint scheme on them uh, as an homage to the uh, heritage of these uh, units which of course are British made. And to match, I have uh, I rebuilt a Thorin's uh, TD-165, uh, tricked out the, uh, the plinth and uh, top plate with uh, hydro dipping, and of course, uh, uh, a nice, nice mat with uh, matching theme, and a uh, really nice cartridge and tuned to the nines, so it sounds really, really good. And then, of course, uh, what I want to showcase today is my Nakamichi RX505, uh, which I acquired about a year ago, I guess, and had it updated by a buddy of mine who uh, is a really good uh, technician. He uh, completely uh, redid the electronics and, uh, and updated the belts and changed out the uh, tire and uh, made it like new again. Uh, below that, I've got uh, a bunch of processors. I've got a DBX, uh, 3BX uh, Series 2. I've got a um, JVC equalizer. These will be, you'll see the lights flashing, but they're uh, actually out of the loop um, for listening. And uh, so I've got the JVC SEA80 equalizer with uh, pink noise generator and spectrum analyzer. So you can actually, I've got a calibrated mic that goes with it so you can tune the room. Uh, Carver C9 sonic holography and then a DBX200 switch box so I can uh, uh, put any of those processor, processors in or out depending on my uh, uh, taste. And then I've got a multi-CD player, a Sony uh, five disc player down there. Uh, I do have a three head uh, Sony deck over here. That's basically just a rewind deck. And uh, and then uh, my real special DCM time windows. I really, really love these speakers. They sound fabulous. So I'm going to play a track here um, on the file. I'm playing the Nakamichi just because I've got it all queued up. And give you an idea of just how beautiful this system can sound. the detail in the uh, and this is a it's a normal bias tape pre-recorded with Dolby B and I'm just stunned by how good it sounds I did say I'd make some lights flash, so... I have 
Once again, those processors are not in the loop. They're just there dancing for display purposes. Fantastic sounding system. I love listening to it every day. <laughs>